and monitor how runny, how thick or thin the consistency is. Girl, trust me, if the consistency is thick, if it's thicker than milk, I'm not buying it, babe. I'll turn and go. I don't mind what you think. Trying to be a trap nigga Now I got me some floor seeds at the game Trying to go bad nigga Got me feeling like Spike Lee on the woods Smoking on pad nigga Drunk texting my wifey So I know I'll get a text bad nigga 45 on my Hello sweetheart, this is Nikita And welcome back to my channel If you're new here, thank you sweetheart for stopping by Because why not? I appreciate it, okay? And you might want to subscribe because it's going to get juicy here. It's going to get lit here. Okay, just subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the juicy stuff that comes your way, okay? And um, to all my returning subscribers, sweetheart, I am so grateful, okay? I appreciate you a lot. You are the homie because you keep coming back each and every time that I post a new video. You are special. You yes. And into... Oh, I almost forgot. And if you haven't still subscribed up till now, I do not know what you intend on doing. Like, I don't get it. But there's still time for improvement, okay? You can still subscribe. Okay, so I'm going to give you a minute. Like, let's all do this. Because subscription doesn't cost a dime. Okay, so I want you to all click on the subscribe button. Hit on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I post a new video, okay? and just do it and let's get right in so in today's video what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be giving you guys random facts about me i don't know how many but it could be 15 to 20 i don't know but yeah i'm going to be giving you random facts about me so you want to stay tuned stick around and stay because yeah you want to do that let's just get right into the video all right okay so guys i have my ratchet scattered i don't even want to show it to you because i am i, I am shy <laughs> all right so i'm going to i've written them so that i do not forget any so yeah let's just start okay so the first um random fact about me is um what my real name is so most of you know me as nikita like maybe all of you know me as nikita so it's only i think people who know me or people who like i I grew up with all my mates people I went to school with like that know that I'm called gifty Ajari. gifty Ajari is my real name and um, I'll get to how I got the name Nikita okay okay so number two is how I derived my name the Nikita name okay all right so it has been there for like quite some time now and um, was it in JHS I got this name or SDHS I think in JHS I was watching this series came it was called Nikita they are an assassin group and the Nikita girl is the main act she was so cool and I loved her I was obsessed with her so I started calling myself Nikita so when I went to SHS like Nikita Nikita my friends were calling me Nikita because my friends knew I was obsessed okay with that movie so yeah everybody started calling me Nikita and I can't <laughs> and after school to all the friends i met they all knew me as nikita because that's how everybody calls me okay so like yeah that's basically it and number three is my date of birth so my date of birth is um 20th december i'm a december girl i'm a december born yeah i'm jesus sibling if you don't know i'm telling you okay so give me some respect put some respect on my name okay all right so uh, the fourth one is where i come from i'm a ghanaian okay and i come from the eastern region of ghana the mountains mountains a to be precise i'm 100 percent a captain okay so like yeah okay so the fifth um random fact about me is um almost everything that i disliked during my childhood i love them now like almost all of them i love them now talk about stuff like Vitamilk. Oh my God! Wow! <laughs> and like, I I was so picky. Like, I didn't really like vegetables at, at that time. Now I love vegetables. Like, I love a lot of things that I, I used to not like. Okay, so yeah. That's basically it. So, let me drink some water, okay? Talking is not easy.
<sighs> Water is life. Okay. So the sixth random fact about me is I hate cold food. Like, don't come to me with cold food. Like, even up to date. If you give me food and it's cold, me the have a womb. I'll I'll spoil the food. <laughs> I'll spoil the food for you. I'll eat. Like, no matter how I love that kind of food. Like Stop it. Get some help. And the seventh the seventh point is probably maybe my friends, my mates, like people around me are the ones who know. Like, but I'm not sure. You people might know. I've never spoken about it here. My mom is a hairstylist and a beautician. Yes. Which explains how have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you do I, I have that skills on how to do hair and all those stuff. Like I didn't really acquire that skills like formally, but the thing is the story is and um, when I was little like, in the morning I go straight to um school okay and when i close from school my mom would be at work by then so i don't go home there's no one to go home to so um i'll go to my mom's place i had a little brother okay so we'll go sh straight to our mom's um salon so that's where we'll spend the rest of the day then in the evening we'll go home that's why i spend my weekend because beauticians and hairstylists are most busy on weekends and festive seasons so i'm um, always at my mom's shop like I, I basically spend all my time at my mom's shop okay because there's no one home to go to so like if she's doing the hair it's not like i'm watching to learn but like sometimes you know some of the hairstyles it takes so long to do and i get pissed off wait a minute who are you i was a kid so yeah like i'll just sit down and watch and be like whatever or i'll just sit down timing and monitoring when my mom is going to finish that hair like that is it so like i spent most of my time at my mom's salon so that's how i just watched and my mom never gave me the opportunity to put my hands in someone's hair like no like i'll always use my hair to do practices like not practice as such i'll be like i'm doing my hair <laughs> me myself if i'm there and i feel like my hair is not looking nice i'll go and pick the rollers i'll do it i'll fix it pe -pe -pe -pe. but the back end you see when you're fixing rollers for some money if um you have to insert the bobby pins or whichever pins you're using in a way that it holds the hair and the roller together okay or else it will fall if you do it anyhow you and when you get to the back it's so difficult if you're doing it yourself so when i get there then i'll be stuck <laughs> my mom will be like i didn't send you to do anything <laughs> at her leisure time then she'll come and help me do it like just like okay and me myself eh? like i'm a fast learner okay like i'm smart i'm not bragging but i'm smart okay? <laughs> I, i'm smart so like i'll just look at something one two and i'll just grasp it i don't have to try. i am the one the way your time don't need it. <laughs> okay guys so let's move to the next point okay so eight number eight is i hate thick stuff like anything thick it's supposed to be light and runny that's why it's liquid it's liquid so why should it be thick again then it should be solid real quick like you get me so like as i said at first i didn't like even as sweet as um these smoothies and milkshakes and all those things are i didn't like them because i felt mm -mm, mm -mm. it had too much you know so yeah but now i like some things but i still don't like thick stuff Something like I love Hausa Coco. Like, is this sogum or millet? Millet porridge or sogum? I don't know. Find it. So, like, I love Hausa Coco, but it has to be light and running. Do you know? Let me tell you, I have a story to every point. Like, girl, I have a story. Hausa, to if you're in Ghana or Nigeria, you know how it is. You know how we buy Hausa Coco. So, I'll think, I'll be like, oh, I want to take Hausa Coco. I'll go and stand by Hausa Coco. I'll distance myself small. Even if it's my time to, my turn to buy, I'll just step aside for someone to buy. So, I'll stand there and monitor how runny how thick or thin the consistency is girl trust me if the consistency is thick if it's thicker than milk i'm not buying a babe i'll turn and go i don't mind what you think why are you running why are you running or if I, I check, you see some Hausa Coco, if they are, they are pouring it, the way they do, the, um, so then they will pour it in the air. You see everything that is going on. So you see, if it's light and runny, it, it, it goes smoothly. But if it's thick and it has 
um a papa bump i hate that thing like sa a papa i hate it goodness i call it a bar like that's lumps in, i hate it so when they are pouring the hook and i see those things hey mak, mak, i'm going <laughs> Hey, me and you going to and I should throw up. I'll throw up right now because, mm -mm. yeah. So I don't like thick stuff. Like I like mine. If it's liquid, then it should be liquid. Like I should know it's liquid. It should be cheers. Mm. So guys, moving on. Nice random fact about me is, um, SHS changed me. Like it was like the food, how picky I was. Some things. I used to do at home that I couldn't get. That. You see how picky I was like this, for instance. If I'm home, I'll always get an alternative. But in school, no babe. And you no. see how cold the eastern region, like that, the mountains is. If you've been to a Brie, Mount Paul, Mount Fing, Kopon, like those places, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Like it, it can it can be as cold as like you are being kept in a fridge, like a freezer, like it's, it can be so, so, so cold. And when the Amatan comes, it's super bad. So like, yeah, I got the privilege to stay in a breeze. So I experienced that kind of weather. But when I was home in JHS, my grandma will always heat water for me to bath. And my water will be super hot, like super hot that will just suck the cold out of me. Like I don't bath warm water, like it should be hot. So when I went to school, all those things were getting to me. When I'm going to sleep at night, I'll be like, I used to bath only once because hey, I can't. I'll, I'll go and sleep and be like, eh. or sometimes I'll even bath ca carry forward, maybe in the evening, then I'll carry, because in the mornings, especially when it's summertime. Okay, our school was around us with tree, lots and lots and lots of trees, and like half of the compound was filled with orange plantations. Like, so I think it's because the school was surrounded with lots of trees, and there were lots of trees in the school as well. Maybe that was the reason why, because it was, it was bad. Because you will wake up at dawn and it's chilly. And sometimes you have to fetch your water and put it down because sometimes the tap stops flowing at dawn. Or sometimes um, you go and there'll be a lot of queue that you can't even, you'll be late for class. Okay, so like the best thing to do is to fetch your water and put it down. You Some have to like down. keep your buckets covered because by morning, by dawn, <laughs> morning, even the morning, when everywhere is clear. If I'm standing here and you're standing like one feet away from me maybe i'll see the silhouette the silhouette like or the image or like the stature of the person but i wouldn't know who it is whether dark or fair whoever it is you wouldn't know sometimes you wouldn't even see someone coming you might even bump into someone like it's that bad so like and because of the weather when you go to school and you are coming back like especially those who used to live in Accra because of how hot Accra is when they come to school and they come back they, they'll be looking so fresh so yeah that's one plus about it but the struggle was real the struggle was legit real and um the fact that i didn't like cold food too when food has been brought from the house for me you see some people leave it then the morning they eat I, i'm not able to do that thing i'll end up giving the food away or throwing it away Damn! so i just i don't benefit I, I, I just try my best and eat as much as I can the first day they bring the food on visiting. That is it. Because I don't like cold food. Life was hard, but I think it changed a lot in me. Like, And even when I'm, hey, when I come home and at school getting an exit, me, what am I coming to do home? Because my mom or my dad wouldn't allow me. What are you coming to do for? Like, and at school, getting an exit isn't that easy. Like, you go through hell. So I, I, I wouldn't even waste my time. What am I even going to do at home? And I wouldn't like class to go on behind me. Like, no, I hate it. So yeah, when I go to school, I know it has to be three months and beyond before I can go home. So anytime I'm going home, I'm so happy. And when it's time to come back to school, I'll cry my eyes like a whole three days before I come to school. Like, it's that bad. It's that bad, it's that bad. And the 10th tenth, the tenth random fact about me is that I feared leaving my family like that was the reason why like when I'm going to school I cry a lot because I I I didn't want to detach myself I how am I going to cope like like when I was going to school eh, I cried my eyes and my dad cried like honestly I cried and uh, my dad cried too because it was it was sad leaving home going to a whole new place you don't know anybody so like it was hard for me the 11th random fact about me guys i am super duper 
afraid of the dark like i'm scared of the dark so after that i don't even sleep with my lights off i sleep i always sleep with my lights on and <laughs> the one funny story i have about this light thing is when i was a kid sometimes you sleep and in the middle of the night you wake up and there's room so lights out and you see how i don't know if anyone has experienced this thing you see how it's different when it's daytime and your room is dark you can see something but this one you see everywhere is dark and there's lights out and it's so dark like dark in there even if there's something white hanging in front of you you see like i hated how opaque the darkness is like i don't like it so like if i if i if i, I don't wake up that night it's fine everything is good but if war betides anyone and my eyes open or maybe i feel like going to pee and i open my eyes and i see darkness hey I'll scream. I, I, I've screamed so many times and it's so bad. The fact that I'm not seeing, like, it just, it's some way. Like, I don't know if you guys understand. Let's move on. Okay, guys. So, the, all right. So, the 12th random fact about me is <laughs> people think when I see them, I deliberately pass by. But that is never the case. <laughs> the thing is, when i'm walking there you see i hate it when you are out and someone will be looking at you so ridiculously like in a weird manner and they don't even care that you've seen that they are watching you like are you okay i hate it okay so like i don't i don't want that situation where i'll stare at someone's face and like the person will be like hey, not in our trims, or the person will think in their heads that hey why is this girl looking at me or, i don't want to do it please please i don't have any time for any gossip now Mm -hmm. huh? yes look at you so if i see if you i meet you and like maybe i'm walking and i meet you and i know you and or maybe you don't prompt me i'll never know that you are the one but unless maybe i know your physique and i know you so well that when i see you and even not looking at your face i'll know say oh this is the person and i'll just call you but if not that i'll pass by you and you'll be like hey girl, it's not here i'm feeling more but that's not how it is like I hate to look at people's face when I'm walking. Like I, I don't want someone to do it to me, so I, I wouldn't do it to the person. Like, yeah. So the 13th random fact about me is that I give out the same energy that you give me. I'll give it to you back. Like if it's positive energy, you're getting positive energy from me. If it is negative energy, you're getting same thing. I'm not kissing nobody's ass because of friendship. Whoever you are, like, <laughs> um, no matter what position you are in, like. No matter who you are, whoever, whoever you are, the kind of energy you give me, you wouldn't expect to treat me so bad. Me bad. And I'll see you and be bowing, bowing. Like, what kind of thing is that? Like, that is not even respect. That is hypocrisy, and uh, you're just torturing yourself. If some, if you give me positive energy, like hundred percent, like two hundred percent, but if it's negative energy, babe, you are getting this, back the same thing, even more, <laughs> because I ain't kissing nobody's ass. Because, like, I don't know, it's not disrespectful, but, like, if you don't like me, I don't like you. Simply put, you understand. I, I remember this incident. <laughs> I used to wear Freeze! and there was this lady. She was, um, the manager was a man, but the assistant was a lady. And, honestly, that woman, eh. <laughs> like, if you don't you, like, I don't want to talk much, but, like, if you don't like me, I don't like you. Like, if you don't like me 50%, I don't like you 200%. That is it. You get me? Yeah, simply put. So, the 14th random fact about me is, the 14th random fact about me is, this one is similar to the first, um, the 13th one. I, I, I have this habit of not looking at people's face when I greet them. Like, I'll greet you and I'll be looking, like, straight where I'm going. Like, like it's my back case. Whether you respond or not, it's, it's your own business because I'm not even looking at you. I've not seen you. Like, boo. <laughs> Baby, honey, I've not seen you. Like, like. So I greet you, I make sure I have greeted you, but I'm not even looking at you because, period. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the 15th random fact about me is I don't like taking naps during the day. People think I sleep too much, but like, it's not like I sleep too much. Like, I don't sleep during the, I don't even have the time to sleep during the day. So I put my last in my night sleep and I, I don't even sleep early sometimes like most of the times i don't sleep early so when i sleep like 
max the maximum sleep I get most of the time is like like five hours yeah so when I, I'm sleeping in the night like I put my last <laughs> because I know I'm not getting it again until the next evening so yeah, yeah. so the um, 16th a random fact about me is <laughs> I don't do well with friendships I, I don't know maybe it's because I was raised by a mom who taught me to be content with what I have or like content with my own space be comfortable in my own like space like <laughs> no, my mom brought me up, up in a way that you wouldn't even dare go to a friend's house what are you going to do like then I'll call you like what are you going to do you see so I wasn't given that chance to be like be content with what you have be content with your own space like don't envy someone don't go into someone's space like don't get up and be going to someone's house just because they have some toys that you don't have or, like be content so I don't I wasn't really really I, I had close friends. friends when I was in a great okay I've had close friends but when you split up I don't know it's just the distance does something to it so it just is also I'm not able to keep up when i split up with a friend like the communication goes down and everything like flops like that I, when i look at how people quarrel you see bff spawn like cool friends like friendship goals found that they have and later you see them dating themselves on social media like why would you even do that like you can have a problem with someone do it in your dms <laughs> and and let it go why i've never had a quarrel or like throwing tantrums at someone on my status before like anything that will go on should be in the dm i'm never ever going to give you that statutory on my status you're not going to get that no you're not paying for advertisements yeah the 17th random fact about me is, no one if just quite a number of people around me know this but not everybody does if you're not too close to me you wouldn't know i ordered a course in tv radio presentation after shs and so I did my internship at uh, Adam FM Newsroom. I don't. Know, I guess that's the reason why I love to create content. But maybe I'm going to use it over here. I don't know. But yeah, it's a random fact about me. If you didn't know, now okay. you know. Let's continue. So the 19th, no. So the 18th random fact about me is, um, I am a good cook. Like honestly, honestly speaking, I am a good cook. Okay, like. I cook good food. I, um, thanks to my mom and my grandma, because I stayed with my grandma and I stayed with my mom too. Um, they are both really, really, really good cooks. And I never really like stood there. They all used to worry about me not sitting down to pay attention to them whilst they were cooking. And they tend to get su surprised anytime I cook and they like taste my food. Like I don't really cook like very often, but like it takes them by surprise, okay? Like, yeah. That is me. So like, they never really know what time I stood there or sat down to really like learn how to cook or to really like look at what they were doing in the kitchen. But like at the end of the day, by the time they see, I'm cooking like really good food. Okay. So moving on to the 19th random fact about me. So the 19th random fact about me is, girl, I am a carbon copy of my dad. Like you seeing me right now, like you're seeing my dad's picture, like because. I really, really look like my dad, like everything. <laughs> I look like my dad, my skin color, my um, my face, my dad's smile, like everything. I took everything from my dad, okay, so like, yeah. And so the gentle random fact about me is, um, I have these two tiny dimples at each corner of my lip, and if you notice, if you really sit down to study me, like you see it when I'm talking or like, yeah in my expressions in my facial expressions and i love them so much simply put like um i i i love my personality i i love almost everything about me and the last random fact about me is that um hmm. so i'm I, I used to be a really 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 shy person i am like i don't know how to express myself in front of a large crowd or a a, a lot of people like yeah i am I, I used to be that shy like i used to really love the idea of making youtube videos or creating content for youtube because i really loved youtube but how to start was the issue and it was because all because i was very shy i had quite a low self-esteem and i feel like i'm improving on things i'm improving because 
I'm now a content creator on YouTube and I feel like all the fears I used to have back then I'm conquering them little by little okay and I'm so grateful and um, I know I really know myself and I know at first I wouldn't do this even this video that I'm doing random facts about me like me do a random fact about me for YouTube and put it out here you know it is so not me but like I feel like I'm improving and I, I love it I love the improvements I'm seeing okay so guys this is it and let's sign out that is it for today that is it for this video thank you sweethearts for stopping by on my channel if you're new here thank you for watching to this moment if you made this this far like sweetheart i don't know what to tell you you are the realist you are the homie you are the real deal like big up yourself okay and if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up comment your opinions like don't hesitate okay feel free to comment your opinions and if you haven't subscribed yet please do well to so hit on the red subscribe button down there and hit on the notification bell right beside it to get notified anytime i post a new video okay so you don't miss out that is it and i'm going to see you in my next video <laughs> and until then it's a bye bye